household gods. The scene is at the heart of Crassus, where is a little bronze altar dedicated to Laris and Penetus. A pale flame rises from the burning sandalwood, on which Crassus throws benzoin and musk. He is standing in deep dejection. Crassus. Smoke without fire, no thrill tongues licks up, the offerings in the cup, dead falls desire. Black smoke thou art, O altar flame that dost dismember, devour the hearth to leave no ember, to warm his heart. I see her still, Adela dancing here, till dim gods did appear to work out our will. The delicate girl, diaphanous, gossamer, subtly revealing her, brave best breast of pearl. Now she withdrawn at dust to the wild woods, mystic beautitudes that dure till dawn, let life exclaim against these things of spirit mankind has disinherit of love's pure flame. He bends before the altar and begins to weep. Ye household gods, by these male tears I swear that ye shall grant this prayer, all things at odds. Thou shalt put straight, harmonize, reconciled by some appointed child of some far fate. curtain has been drawn aside during his invocation, and Alicia advances. She smiles subtly upon him, and giving a strange gesture, makes one or two noiseless steps of dancing. Alicia. What up, Master, still sad. What up? These faint and fearful shores of time are beaten in the surge of sense, love worn away by love to indifference. Who knows what god or demon she adores, or in what wood she shelters? Of what grove she sees her profane, our sacrament of love. I saw her follow the stream in the hollow, where never Apollo abides. So thick are the trees that never the breeze stirs them or sees. What satire inhibits the glen, what nymph in the pools of it hides. Lighter afoot than a sylph or a fairy. Sinuous, wary, I pass from the airy. Lawns were the flute of the winds made tremulous music for man. I followed the ripple of the stream, I crept. Where the waters wept, the floss and the foss, gargling across the bosses of moss, like a dryad's nipple in the mouth of Pan. O oh, pearl of the house, you came to the end? The dusk of the slave, the, the dawn of a friend. Freedom is thine for skill and the will. The skill is mine, but the will lies still, still as the earth that dare not stir, to the kiss of the sun awaken her. Yet at these secret riddles, behold! I can fly thy lap with harvest of gold. Yet all the gold you could give to me would fall at my feet when I rose to be free. What will you then? No gift from men. Of my own free will I give you wit. O man so sorely in need of it. And happiness in the flame that hath dwindled. On this dull hearth shall be rekindled. But this you must swear, to will and to dare. To seek the spirit and slay the sense. And for this hour, to give me power. To lead you in silent obedience. So I bade you fall on your sword. Enough. I give my life as I gave my love. Oh, love you have not understood. You have not guessed its secret food. You have not seen its single eye. But fear and doubt and jealousy have risen, and now your love is trembling, like a mountbank dissembling when its tricks detected. Come, to find home we must leave. To find home we must leave home. Starless and moonless, hidden in the cloud, the night's one flame of pearl. The bat flaps, the owl hoots aloud. Lead on, I trust you, girl. You are bold to trust me. Or, have you divined my secret? No, the crystal of your mind shows only faint, disturbing images. Things passing strange as if enchanted seas kept their great swell upon it. And strange fish played in its oily depths. Some monstrous wish, the shadow of some unspeakable desire, strikes my heart cold and sets my brain on fire. Learn this, as we pass through the portico, fear nothing, there is nothing you can know, and by these terraces and steps that gleam wintry, although the summer night is hot, this, what we seek is never what we find. Life is a dream like love, and from the dream, if we may wake, we never find it what we, what we would be, what we would, for the wisdom of a, mitre, of a mightier mind leads us in its own ways to a perfected praise. Why are these shadows thrown across the lawn from elms and yews? They are not won't reach beyond the branches of that copper beach. Attend the dawn of an unknown comet, 
that shall come from the unfathomable wells of space into its halidom. I know it not. Last night I walked alone here and saw nothing. I was not with you. There is no God upon the eternal throne of stars begemming and bewildering blue unless one has the eyes to see him. Think, how we two stand upon the brink of nothing. Here's a globe whereto we trust, no larger than the smallest speck of dust. Our mote in the sunbeam is to what sun's self, and we are like dead leaves in autumn's will of wind upon it. Mystify me, girl. It is the right of an elf. Surely your flickering fire will draw me to some... Here the stream dips its mouth into the wood, so does youth's calm and chast, and chast but betude. Touch the black mouth of love, the ancient whore. Girl, what a scorpion leaping from your lip. My mouth stings as no scorpion ever stang. In this round, impudent, smiling face of mine, there is a, a poison fiercer than all wine. And from these eyes, more subtle sorrows pour than you can dream. These teeth have been at grips with gods. I have sung what no girl ever sang. These ears have heard an insufferable word. What do you mean? The secrets in a kiss. Here are no kisses. Here great Ar Artemis rules. Only in the woodland may a man hide his eyes from her. Pledge himself to Pan. Come to the tangled arches of cypresses and larches. Stoop. Under Artemis we walked upright. But this is Pan's home and the house of night. They enter the wood. So when I stoop, my cheek comes close to yours. Give me a kiss. The poisonous apple lures, thus the boy's mouth. Beware. Oh, you are fair, fairer than ever. In this tangle of trees, your hot breath wraps you in. There is some gloom or doom, a bitter hearth ingredient in these, my sorcerers, my sorceries of animal scent. Yes, there is fear mixed with fascination. It is the reverence that chastity, be sure, gains from the impure. O oh, virtuous nation, it is the fear of the initiate before the throne of fate, the hierophant. Kiss me, however. Did I grant this favor? All were lost. It is your truth to Adela that tempts my youth. Henceforth, Alicia shakes with silent laughter. What little breasts you have. I, maiden breasts, would you betray my oath? My will contests my wishes. Wait, and you shall surely see part of the secret that ensorcels me. See all those bosses, it is not as if a titan smote himself on, in, onto, into the earth, and was caught into her, made one with her? The scent is fierce and hot, like a ruling panther's slot. Yet you are matched with mirth, shaking each, each other like two... What should stir your melancholy but laughter? Look before us, light streams, a tremulous chorus. Oh, it's vague and vacillate. Love, young love of maidens is the soul thereof. And the midst be old, O oh man, the image of great Pan. I fear him. Go and lie there at his feet. Lie supine, lie on that moss-covered root, while I draw forth the flute and make a marvelous music. She ceases laughing and begins to play. Oh, I writhe beneath the force of lips of the fingers that should touch the delicate stop so delicate. Hush! I have drawn the bird from the bush. Pan will appear anon. Ah! Ah! Ha! Ha! This music moves you. Now I'll play a tune that would make mad the melancholy moon. This. Ah! You tear out my soul with the trills. Your fingers play like summer lightning on the shaft. It is like a storm on the mountains when it shrills, like the angry sea when it booms. Some god left. Your mouth is like some god's, it burns and blooms, with fire unheard of, with unguessed perfumes. Oh, let me... So you stop my song? She ceases the tune. There is another song. You do me wrong, for you love Adela. By God, girl, no! I love Alicia. Ah, you love her so. She laughs. Ha <laughs> ha. Your laugh is shocking. Why do you mock me, dear? Because you will not guess my secret here, but put your arms about my neck and swear you love me and will always keep them there. Then I might dare. I swear it, oh my sweet. Then take my kiss. Your mouth is like a rose of fire, but what is this? I cannot... Aye, uhu, uhu. It is my heart. This arrow strikes me through. 
Stir not one muscle for a moment. Death, you beast, you kill me with your urgent breath. Oh, how I love you. Fool, now all my pain must be gone through again. It is sure your chastity is unstained by crime. You do the wrong thing just at the right time. Why do you taunt me? All the wood is springs, and love is hovering o'er us like the wing. Sub penis, penis. Hush, you break the spell. Oh, you great fools of men, I know you well. But nothing is so detrimental to love as to be sentimental. I will yet make you wise, know that I have the magic to disguise myself in many ways. Do you feel this? Lie still this heaven were ruined by a kiss. I'm a butterfly, such idle flitting, as to a flower like you is fitting. Now I'm a mole. Do you think you know me now? Here's the earthworm severed by the plow. You are a witch. I want your love. You give only love's comedy. The way to live is to find comedy and tragedy in everything. But if you cannot see through the bat gunnel spirit, this should suit. Here's the blacksmith hammering a flute. Oh, love, love, kiss me. I will forge a ring of bloom of blood kisses upon your neck. Till it is like a garden of roses in late spring. Soft and stung softly, fairer for a flesh. Oh, marvelous nation. Vanity, dullness, slobber, and quotation. Why do you love me if you scorn me so? Why? Did I say I loved you? I say no. Why do you make love? To big jewel the hour, to crown my rose wreath with a greener flower, to do my master's bidding, that's to give life to yourself, who only think you live. But listen, have you seen the nine waves roll, monotonous upon the shawl, rising and falling like a maiden asleep? Then with a lift and a leap, the ninth wave curls and breaks upon the beach, and rushes up to it, swallowing the sand. I am that ocean. Now you understand? Alicia, oh, this is unbearable. Surely this wave washes the shores of heaven. Each follows each, remorseless and indifferent as nature is to each creature. Wonderful, wonderful woman. Now, you think, you know my secret. I have given you drink and you are wise, but hush! To all emotion, save this the pulse and swell of ocean, for at the last with mouth and fingers, ride all must proclaim the triumphs of the tide. Ah, you still mock me with your cruel lie. It is your foolish epitaph. But this can be no mockery. Even sway and curl and thrust, these waves are not at You feel the ocean breaking on the shawl, but passionless and moveless is its soul. Ah, but your soul is in your breath. Only is the graven image of death, which men call life and ignorantly adore. Spare me, I cannot bear you more. Then will I drown you, lock your fingers fast in mind, and let our mouths mix at the last. The statue of Pan has seemed to be alive. Shrill, shrill, o'er the hill. The hunter is hot, this is the kill. Scream, scream, dissolving the dream of life, the knife, the heart of the wife. The fountain jets its flood of blood, and the moss that it wets is an amethyst flame of violets. Who shall escape murder and rape? What I am alive in my solemn shape. Shrill, shrill, over the hill. The hunter is hot, this is the kill. The heart of the home is a fury of foam. The storm is awake, and the billows comb. So though I be the frenzy of glee, I am also the passionateless soul of the sea. Mine eyes glint fire, and my cruel lips curl. Mine the desire of the god and the girl, but fewer and fleeter, and subtler and sweeter. than the race of the rhythm, the march of the mitri, is the shrilling shrilling of the knife in the killing that ends when it must, oh, the throb and the thrust. In a death in the dust, the silence, the stillness of satiate lust, the solemn pause when the veil withdraws, and man looks on his god, on the causeless cause. Still, still, under the hill, the hunter is dead. This is the kill. And spoke. Pen never speak till man is dumb, and only then, he, if he be like a child, 
silently curled within its mother's womb, or feeding at her breast. There's a wild way also, when its dumbness is of death, and there's a first and second death. Remember to die so that no gods or angels breathe, may quicken into life the wasted ember. I am dead now. But I must raise you up. The night grows darker, all Pan's light is gone, and you and I are pledged to sup upon a secret. All your secrets shown. Oh, when you know it, but you must divine Adela's shrine. I am weary of Adela grown chaste and chill. The hunter lags, how heavy is the hill, but you are bound to Adela. To you? But you have given me freedom, I will leave you. What have I done to grieve you? You have been the solemn fool with face awry that I have gathered in my ecstasy. You are only a vulgar primrose I have plucked. At least, she-devil, you have been well treated. Oh, tragic farce, not even rhymes completed. Not, nay, darling, no rebellion. When you know my secret, you will understand. You are bound to Adela within the portico, to me upon this ground. By day in life, adore the liar's man. By night in death, make offering to Pan. Can you cut day from night by any endeavor? If so, both life and death were lost forever. Come, the stream steepens. This road leads to hell. The way to heaven is shorter. Who can tell? I have measured it. You, girl? It is not hard. What did you make the height of it? One yard. You always mock me. Pity of my youth, I swerve not from you stumble at the truth. I like not jests, this is a serious journey. Why did you make a mocker, you, your attorney? The way to Rome leads through the... Apennines, Bacchus has horns beneath the crown of vines. If you for your horns make some polite excuse, not to invoke him by the name Zagrus. A fawn passing among the trees. Ye thought to be a lamb oh, with the crown of thorns. Hold on, I'm the fawn. Come on. Ooh. Yeah. What happened? I'm the That's Stiggy's part. Oh, my bad. I thought that was part of mine. Go ahead. No. Ye thought me a lamb with a crown of thorns. I am royal, a ram. With death in my horn, so mild and soft and feminine, ye held me aloft and frowned on sin. But I was awake in your clasps as I lay. I roused the snake from his nest of clay, and ere you knew, I had sunk my forehead through and f through, harsh and through all the pleasure of rose and vine. I thrust my treasure. The cone of the pine. Eru's maid was easily sated, for she was afraid when Eru mated. Ha! 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 Oh, wait, wait, wait. You would not laugh, were you the maid? How could I be? Great calf, but you are all the same. Blaspheme and jeer at any mystery beyond your sphere. Of beer and beef and beer and beef and beer. Now you have frightened the shy god. Why heed? Between your arms is all the god that I need. Prudish and coarse to the last. Now hush indeed. The stream kisses the lake. We're near the shrine. Stir no snapped twig. Let your foot, even yours, fall like a fawn's. Your breath is like new wine. Hush now. No porpoise gambles. How obscures... The glimmer of the lake, is that the eye? Yes, in that shadow lurks a smile. See, from that jagged cloud, Diana starts, like a deer from the brake. Her silver splendor darts through the crisp air to the grove upon the isle. Do you see her? Do you see her? Monstrous! Vile! These eyes betray me. No, your Adela lies, with arms thrown back, head tilted, open thighs. Her lips flame out like a poppy's in the dusk. The breeze brings back to us a scent of musk. Her mouth is oozing kisses. Filthy harlot. I never fed on a suburb, superber, superber scarlet. And look, the wonder of plumes that forms upon her tidal breast. Oh, but a swan, a swan, a swan snow white with his soul scarlet hidden in the ab, in the abode forbidden. Oh, but his eye swoons as his broad beak slips within her luscious lips. Oh, but I cannot see. I long to die alike for wonder and for jealousy. Vile, filthy whore! I'll catch you at it. Soft. See how his feathers hold her soul aloft. 
beast, have you brought me through the woods for this? Now wonder I must teach you how to kiss. I'll clip his wing. Sub penis, penis, slife. It's not the wings of him that clip your wife. Thou art as filthy as a creature as she. Fat fool, all your emotions vary with your... What? Your state of health. Be off with you, foul. Well? I'll swim and stab them. The black mouth of hell yawns for their mirth. I'll be at the death. Dive then, but softly, scarcely draw your breath. Oh, she's unware. Is your love forgotten? All love is rotten. But your pure love for me, you boasted of? Aye, that was perfect love. You love me then, not her? Indeed I do. Swear me the oath anew. I swear to love you till the world shall end. Then, Crassus, I will always be your friend. Ah, that is good. You do not mock me now. Creep softly to the land, kiss but my brow, my curls are wet. No, never touch me there. Why, have I not? You have not. Just my hand. You disobey your mistress's command? The time is near when you shall see the keyhole of my comedy. <laughs> Hush, you coarse slave. Well, surprise, your good wife in her mystic exercise, quick, through the bramble. Now, you beast, I've got you. The curse of God and the plague of Naples rot you. For this wild brute, one sit. He cuts the throat of the swan with his dagger. <laughs> oh, love betrayed, oh, my dead beauty, fa, deceitful maid. Not crass has found me out, had I the wings of my dead love, oh, love. Why wondrous things? These nails shall serve a servant. She shall be my wife, damned witch, when I have done with the swan. I'll kill her now, but see, my swan is dead. Yes, and what light is breaking overhead, but a blaze of blue and gold envelops us. Oh, marvel, oh, miraculous. What is it? Why? My me, once concentrated, now diffused, illumes? The endless reaches of eternity, with infinite brilliance, with intense perfumes. Oh, then your lover was some god's disguise. And you have robbed me, now beware your eyes. She springs at Alicia, who guards herself easily, but in the struggle her robe tears. Take care. A boy. A boy? Then what am I? That is the key word of the comedy. You thought you had two vices at your need, but she had Jove and you had Ganymede. <laughs> they are struck dumb and still with amazement, Alicia claps her hands four times. Sweep through the air, bright blaze of eagle wings, Crassus, sub penis, penis, how he swings his bulk from yonder sidus poise to bear me back to the dominion of the air, where I shall bear, bear the cup of Jupiter. Blind babes love one another, no less true, because the gods have designed to dwell with you. The, the eagle bears get Ganymede aloft. Adela! These mysteries are too great for you and me to estimate. But widowed, both come seeking domestic charms, as we won't, in another man's arm. In one another's arms. What perfect moss for you to lie upon. I am your wife, dear Crassus. Oh, my swan.